Hi guys, uh, welcome to Dye Azo Coupling Reactions Part 1. Very important reaction. And uh, this is a flagship reaction in amines also. Okay, basically aromatic amines which got aniline and in phenols also. So, first of all, let's learn what is Dye Azo. Okay, so Dye Azonium is a group when we have N2 plus like this on a ring and we can call it AR N2 plus also. This is another way to write it. And as you can see here in this structure, when you draw N plus triple bond N, there is a possibility of support towards N plus. Hence, the demand of any attack of nucleophile on this particular thing is reduced because it is getting support from the rings. Hence, we call it weak electrophile. So, it's a weak electrophile that also you should know. Okay, diazonium is a weak electrophile. Hence, it needs a very strong thing to come and attack on it or very activated thing to come and attack on it. So, I am going to show here a reaction. Uh, if you take phenol, okay, and uh, take phenol at, uh, let us say, in slightly basic medium. So, let us say pH equals 7 to 9 range. So, what will happen? The phenol thing will convert into, at pH 7 to 9 range, this will convert into phenoxide ion. Okay, phenoxide ion, you can say this way. At this phenoxide, if we provide diazonium, which is pH N2 plus Cl minus. So, this can attack on pH N2 plus Cl minus and what will be the complete mechanism of attack? Let us see. So, we will draw like this. We have O minus. We have N triple bond N plus and this kind of ring. So, what will it do? It will move like this and this can attack on nitrogen and the bond will break towards N plus. So, if you write this whole structure, it will look like a double bond over at this place, two double bonds here, a double bond, I am sorry, this is an N here, a double bond N and a ring and this kind of structure. Later, this H can be given back and we can reinstate the final aromatic structure which will carry OH at this place, which will carry N double bond N this place and which can carry one more pH at this place. So, this is called, if you look at this compound, this is azobenzene, okay, azobenzene kind of structure and on this side we have para hydroxy. So, you can call it para hydroxy azobenzene. This shows orange color, okay, orange color dye it is and as you know dyes will have colors. This is orange color dye that we can form with the help of uh, phenoxide ion attacking on a diazonium. We can get this kind of result. So, this reaction, if you observe, this is a coupling reaction. What is a coupling reaction? When you club these two things, we get a coupling reaction as in this compound. So, there can be various extension of this reaction which can come across. So, the same reaction can be discussed in aniline also. So, what aniline is going to do with this? So, remember aniline, we can talk about three different mediums. One medium is highly acidic. So, highly acidic conditions when we say pH values are in the range of 1 to 2, etc. Then the next region is weakly acidic region. Weakly acidic means the pH values are in the range of 4 to 6. And then it is basic medium when pH values are more than 7. Okay, So, close to 7 to 9 or 10 kind of range. Is it clear? So, the first one is highly acidic condition. In highly acidic condition, without any surprise, we can understand that highly acidic condition will form this NH3 plus and this will no more be activating. So, since it is no more activating, then what will happen? Then it is not in condition to give you any kind of coupling. So, no coupling reaction can occur for this case. That is a case number one. Now, move on to case number two, weakly acidic uh, medium for pH 4 to 6 case. So, what happens in this case? In weakly acidic case, you have NH2, right? So, this NH2 will trigger the attack with its para position and this will be an example of attack on diazonium as we have done in phenol case with the phenoxide and this will be C n coupling. What is the meaning of C n coupling? Look at this part. If you observe here this carbon, uh, this is the carbon here, okay. So, this is the carbon here and this is the nitrogen. So, what all groups are combining with each other? So, you can say the groups which are combining with each other are carbon and nitrogen, right. So, in this case carbon and nitrogen combine. Hence, your answer is CN coupling, we can say. This is a CN coupling example. In the next scenario, when this is basic medium, what we find is aniline is highly activated and this NH2 can direct go and attack on diazonium thing. So, this time it will be this kind of structure which will be 
amino as a kind of structure. So, we can say when you do the structure it will be NH and double bond N or ring and this would be example of coupling of which type it is NN coupling. So, this is the third case. So, these are three cases and questions come from this every year almost. So, we should know very clearly the difference in phenol and difference in anilines coupling reaction. I hope you understood this complete discussion. And similarly, we can talk about compounds like methyl orange and other compounds also with this discussion. I hope you understood this. Keep liking, subscribing and sharing. Thank you.